You know, man, if you in a, I'm going to tell you something about Floyd. Floyd is diabolically vindictive, man. Floyd is the type of guy you don't want to make your enemy. Well, yeah, I'll say it again. Floyd is the type of guy you don't want to make enemies with. If he can blackball you, he would. If he can find a way to blackball you, he definitely is going to do it. Uh, so, and with Floyd, and, and, and I'm, I'm speaking on this interview because Floyd and Bill Haney has been going at it, going at it. And there's a lot of stuff we I don't know and we don't know behind the scenes. Um, you know, I can easily throw the blame on Bill Haney and say it's Bill Haney's fault. And I can, <clears throat> I can also throw the blame on Floyd Mayweather and say it's Floyd Mayweather's fault. But I would be... Um, throwing, throwing blindly, because I truly don't know the beginnings of the beef, and it it probably started with uh, Devin Haney and them not signing the Floyd Mayweather. That's probably where it started. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if Floyd took that personally and decided to black to try to make these guys life a living hell. Because he didn't, uh, they didn't sign with him. I don't know if that's true or not. You know, but I do know with Floyd, you got with Floyd, he's vindictive. You know, he's out for blood with Bill Haney because Bill Haney has been throwing dis has has been disrespecting Floyd. Has been playing with Floyd's name. I ain't gonna say totally disrespecting Floyd. He's been taking pot shots at Floyd throughout the whole build-up of the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. He's been disrespecting Floyd's name. You know, he ain't been putting no respect on Floyd's name. He been playing with Floyd. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd has taken offense to it. And you know Floyd takes himself very seriously. You ain't no joking with Floyd. Floyd takes himself very seriously, and he can be vindictive. But there's a backstory that we all don't know. But this we do know. <clears throat> Listen to Floyd. I'm gonna break down what Floyd is really saying because Floyd is speaking. And you got to read between the lines with Floyd right here. He he. Floyd is telling you how much. Of an influence he has with the boxing, with professional boxing, and how he can make life a living hell for Devin Haney and Bill Haney. And Devin Haney is just going to get shot for being with Bill Haney. It ain't, it ain't that he hates Devin Haney, it is that he hates Bill Haney, you know, and Devin's going to get a. Uh, Wounded for sitting in the car with Bill Haney. But check it out. Zeb, Zeb, Zeb. But if you go look, look, I want you to really pay attention to this, okay? Bill and, and Bill has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And okay. What Floyd, like I said, you got to read between the lines. What he's really saying is Floyd, what he's really saying is Bill has rubbed me the wrong way. Has disrespected my name. That's what he's saying. But he tried to cover up and saying has uh, has rubbed a lot of people. No, he has rubbed you the wrong way. That's what you really want to say, Floyd. Bill has rubbed me the wrong way. Okay, continue. In boxing. Bill has, In boxing. has rubbed people... A lot of a lot of fighters. So what he's doing is making things hard for his son. You see what he's saying? So what he's doing, what Bill is doing, is making things hard for his son. So you got to interpret that. I'm gonna make things hard for Devin. 
Floyd is saying, okay, Bill, you want to be an asshole? I'm going to make things hard for your son. That's what Floyd is saying. So that, that's why they, they, they had to fight in New York. That's why they couldn't book any fights in Vegas. Floyd did that. Oh, hypothetically said, Devin can fight his next fight. It could be, a, it could be kind of, he could win by unanimous, unanimous decision, and we could think he won, but he can go the distance, and he may not get his hand raised because of the things that his father and how he, what he's doing to these fighters and how he's dis, disrespecting them. You see? So, it's payback time, so you got to interpret that. What Floyd is saying is, I got the judges in my pockets. It can be a uh, Devin Haney can, you know, can be in a fight and it goes to to a decision. And since I got the judges in my pockets, I can buy the judges off, so Devin won't win the decision because. Because of his father. Because I hate his father. His father has rubbed me the wrong way. And I could, uh, def I can affect Devin Haney's career. I can buy the judges off. That's what Floyd is saying. In the sport. You still got to respect the sport at the end of the day. Yeah, you got to. No, you still got to respect me at the end of the day. Not the sport. You still got to respect me. That's what Floyd is saying. You still got to respect me, Bill Haney, at the end of the day. Because I could make your son lose a fight by buying off a judge. You know what I'm saying? So you still got to respect me at the end of the, end of the day. But he covers it up and says you still got to respect the sport. Well, Ron Garcia didn't respect the sport. He was acting a damn fool. You ain't saying nothing about Ron Garcia. See, that's how I know he's talking about himself. But he's covering it covering it up. You know, he's trying to be slick. Because he don't want to put himself out there and make y'all think, oh, it's personal. He got a personal vendetta against, against Bill. You see what I'm saying? He think he's slick. No matter what me you been through, after the fight, we hug. We say what we gotta say when we build the fight. And once we squash, once we, once we, we do. But yeah, but when we talk, when you tell, I ain't never, I never came to you and told you, oh, uh, yeah, we, I'm trying to kill you. I wish you die. And you don't say that to people. Come on now. Yeah. It's, it's, now I agree with Floyd on that. Bill, Bill got some bad character flaws himself. You know. I agree with Floyd on that. I, I know Bill saying gonna say it was just all to build a fight, you know. I ain't mean it. He gonna turn around and say that. I don't know if he mean, meant it or not. But uh he he's gonna say it was all about promoting the fight, hyping the fight up, you know. Our tickets prices went was down low, so I had to say something. Desperate times call, dr calls for drastic measures. You know what I'm saying? So I, Bill, I'm pretty sure Bill probably had that. So I'll say that, but I still agree with Floyd on that. But because actually the opposite happened. Devin Haney looked like he was about to get killed. Devin Haney could have died from a brain hemorrhage, from bleeding at other at, at brain. You know. So you got to be careful what you put out there, man. For what you say. I mean like you and You can't die. I wouldn't even play like that. I, I, I wouldn't even play like that. Bill. You know. Talking about we coming to kill him. And you know. Your hand. Uh, these boxers can kill. With a punch. Boxers have died in the ring. And for Bill to just. Say that. About Ryan. Ryan. Ryan didn't. Ryan wasn't their enemy. So you want to kill somebody over money bro. You know, over money in, in a professional sport, both of y'all gonna get paid. So it wasn't no call. For, it wasn't no need for that, man. I agree with Floyd on that. Boundaries. 
It's certain limits that we don't cross. Well, I didn't hear him say now, that. Did he say he's going to kill? I, I didn't hear him say that. I don't know. I, I oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you said it. <laughs> see, see, Zab is pissing Floyd off because Zab is giving Bill Haney too many, too many benefits of the doubt, and it's annoying Floyd. <laughs> it's annoying Floyd. Y'all go back and watch this uh interview. It, you know, it's annoying. Zab is annoying Floyd, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, he I said it a couple know. times. So, but but so so my thing is this: we got to do our homework. We can't only see what we want to see. Now we see the if we see the good in people, we are. <laughs> he talking about that. Zay are gonna get real quiet and just get pissed off and just click off in a minute. We gotta see the we gotta see the good as well as the bad. And, right. and, and my thing is, I don't. Once again, I don't have a beef with Bill, but I, I want to tell him this. Respect the sport. Let's just son. son Oh. What you gotta do? It's okay for you to respect me. Let your son do what he got. Respect me. <laughs> That's what he said. Put some respect on my name. Tell my he ain't got a beef. You do got a beef, but you don't want to, you don't want nobody to know you got a beef. You slick with it. You blackballed them, man. You black you you blackballed them where they couldn't get a. a the fight in Vegas, where they couldn't book a fight. You know. They have a voice, but it looked work. You did something. I ain't gonna. Well, Bill said you blocked them. You did something where they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't handle business business like they wanted to. Because of some Floyd did. And Bill confronted Floyd about it. And Floyd tried to play stupid. You know, that's what I'm saying. So I don't know. I can't say that. They, I don't know the specific details. I don't. I can't say that, that, that they blocked. That Floyd blocked Bill from booking a fight. I can't say that in particular. But Bill said Floyd was blocking him. In a way that he couldn't conduct business. Like he should have been doing because of Floyd blackballing them. You know? Worse. It looked worse. It, it looked worse than what, he, than what it really is because he went out on. He didn't. And I know Floyd has people in power in his pocket, like the referees. And he just said the judges, but the referees also because. Tony Weeks is in TMT Floyd Mayweather pocket and how he called that fight for Roley versus that old man. Uh, Tony Weeks was paid off by Floyd. That's all that was. And that's how Roley became champion. He even went out on the line and, and See how boxing Boxing is effed up man Corrupt Corrupt as hell He was getting in the ring You can't do that And, and Zab, you already know A lot of times We got people That's with us That's in the entourage That's going out there And saying Oh fuck you It's this is that It's this is that You can say whatever you want to say Your dad can say whatever you want to say Your cousin Your brother But they ain't got to get in that square circle Right That's true again, Floyd. Tell, Floyd telling the truth right there. But but Devin Haney, I don't know if Devin Haney is strong enough to 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 tell his dad calm that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing this. Stop doing that, Dad. I don't know if Devin Haney. Is secure enough in his manhood to tell his dad that. You know. Devin Haney is real soft spoken too. You know what I mean? So. I don't know man. Devin got a lot of growing up, growing up to do. 
because there there's no way Bill Haney should have been his trainer. Should should have been his main trainer. You know that was stupid. But Devin Haney was acting like, you know, well, well, acting like they they had they had it all. They had the they had the formula. Devin Haney should have stepped up and said something to Bill. Cause Bill is just out of control, man. Was just out of control. But at the same time, Bill trying to promote the fight. At the same time, Bill trying to make his son a, a, a legit superstar. But um, I just think Bill was was taking it too far. He was he was pushing it too hard. You can't force nobody to love your son. You can't force people to think that your son is a big superstar. You can talk all you want. Talk as loud as you want. But. People are going to gonna decide. At the end of the day. If they want to watch your son or not. And Bill was doing too much. He was doing too much. And. Uh, did, did, there's the repercussions of. Him doing too much. He, he didn't give his son good advice. You needed a real trainer, somebody, a real corner man, a legitimate corner man with good advice. They ain't got to get it. And, and there's a difference. Like, you got to realize, you, like I said before, you're a rare breed. You special, you know. You've been an undisputed champion before, right? So, right. it's just like when you fought, when you fought Kansas Suit, anything you're going to be able to bounce back. So anything is possible. So even like, with at the same time, didn't <laughs> Zab probably feel in a certain way? Cause then wasn't Zab's father his trainer, his late his lead corner man? You know what I'm saying? But Zab, but wasn't Zab's father a boxer? I don't know if Zab's father, Zab Zab's father probably was a boxer. He seemed to know a lot more than uh, Bill Haney. But Zab is relating to the, to the Haney's because Zab's father was training him, was in his corner, was giving him instructions on on how to uh, fight. So, so Zab probably, so I think this is what, that's why Zab was feel, feeling a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? What they teach in Devin in the gym is, he, for starters, it's something that he got to turn, turn his shots to get his power. He got to right. turn it a certain way. Right. You're right about that, 100%. And you, you can't be shooting a Zab like this. Just amateurs do this. When you're professional, we here. You here. Boom, boom. It's here. So, even like I want you to go back and look at the art. Yep, saying like, uh, well, Devin Haney looks spectacular against Regis. So, they were living off the high of that. Him and Bill was living off the high of that Regis fight. And Devin looked great. Knocked down Regis. Probably could have knocked him out if he went for it. But Devin looked great in that fight. He didn't look great in the Ryan Garcia fight at all. He Devin, the one, looked like he didn't really train. You know, they talking about Ryan Garcia train. Hell, did Devin train? Was Devin taking training seriously? A fight. You see, every time I get my shit off, I'm still right there like this. Cause I know that I know that motherfucker got a hook, and right. the hook comes from. Remember, the hook is the shot that not that not fighters out the most because it comes from the blind side. It comes from around here. So in the eleventh round when he got knocked down, he didn't see the shot coming. He was throwing a hook with his head in the air and got caught. So it's just it's, it's a lot of things that has to be taught to him. Right. Can he, can he, could he bounce back? Still. Anything can happen. Absolutely. My Uncle Roger been knocked out. 100%. 100%. He's got skills. My, my, my Uncle Roger been knocked out before he, and he bounced back and became world champion. So that shit comes with the territory. 
But what I want to say, but, 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 but what we have to know is this. You have to respect the guy. A lot of guys that paved the way. You heard him? He slipped up. He said, you got to respect the guy. A lot of guys. You see? I told you, man. I got Floyd. I got Floyd number, bro. I got Floyd Stilo. He talking about himself. You got to respect the guy that paid the way. He talking about himself. And then he, you got to respect the guys. You got to respect me. I paid the way. To put these guys in position. So yeah. I put these guys in position. You got to, you got to respect me, Bill. And I want to let Bill know this as well as Devin. That's why I'm gonna make it like. That's why I'm gonna make life hard for you in boxing. You don't respect me. You are gonna pay for that. The money that these fighters are making in boxing today, they're making because of the sacrifices that I made. See, see, it go back to the number one Uno. It goes back to numero Uno, like it always does. Him, the narcissist, the one. The Matrix, Floyd Mayweather. I put that's I, the reason why the dynamics in the movie has changed in boxing because of Floyd Mayweather. Now he right on that. I, I think he right on that. I think he right about that. I think that's the why. That's the reason why Canelo got that big payday he got. You know, and so on and so forth. But. There's a lot of guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. But I came into this. But I came. That's true. Went to the sport and changed this shit drastically. And, and these fighters, because a lot of and, and this is the truth, uh, is a lot of these fighters overpaid. After fucking and, 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 and you know what, man? I think Bill has a lot of admiration for Floyd, even though. Bill takes shots at Floyd. He wants to be like he wants his son to be just like Floyd. Devin Haney wants to be just like Floyd. You know, they follow the Floyd blueprint. The Bill Haney's, the Bill Haney, and Devin Haney. They was trying to follow the Floyd blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Then they were saying his, his catchphrases. And all that. So, with all the the uh, perceived disrespect that Bill was throwing out there, I think uh, behind it, I think there's some genuine admiration for Floyd. And Floyd don't see that. Don't realize that. Floyd don't realize that. Because his ego gets in the way and his ego makes him stupid Floyd Bill Haney admires the shit out of you Devin Haney you, you already know how Devin Haney feel about you but Bill Haney wants to copy your success and who could blame him you know Bill Haney wishes his son had the skills that you got that you had. You know what I'm saying? They they want to be you, Floyd. At the end of the day, you know, your biggest haters are really your biggest fans, Floyd. Your biggest haters are really your biggest fans. At the end of the day, Floyd. But you taking it as them niggas hating on me. But you don't see that they really love you deep down. You don't see that they're really your biggest fans deep down. You know, they don't see that they, they, they really, yeah. The fans are not, not maybe not in your personal life fans, but what you have done for the sport. They admire the shit out of you for what you did in the sport of boxing. You know. Bill Haney is your biggest fan, Floyd. And you fail to realize that because you're looking at the surface that Bill's saying your name 
uh, in interviews with disrespect. You take it as, you know, disrespect. You taking it personally. But Bill just trying to build himself up. He's just trying to build himself. Just trying to build his son up, you know. And and throwing shots at you for what you've done behind the scenes against them. Absolutely. But I'm a fighter, and I got to look at it. You know what? what? I'm going to say that absolutely, but guess what? But then you got to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is this. Every time these fighters go out there, go out there, they're risking their lives. So do they deserve to get the money? Absolutely. So... So, one minute, so like I said before, and do I come to dick myself after the fucking movie? I just did. And I, and, I, and, I, and I come on record and say, I can try to dick myself. That don't mean that, don't mean that my kids that, or my family are going to love me. Mm-hmm. I'm human. I make mistakes. But we live and we learn. Mm-hmm. And, and just like I told Zab earlier, I'm glad that I was able to put a faith there. Uh, one of the best, you know, one of the best. And I take my for me to face a guy that was undisputed champion is is, is a blessing in itself. Mm. Just to share the ring with him, you know. And and mm. I'm proud of Zab. I'm proud of Ben because Ben, what Zab don't know is you was the first one to give us uh, was you, you you gave us you gave us the chance to open. But you know what I, I heard. Floyd didn't want to fight Zab until Zab lost. Now, when they was undefeated, Floyd didn't talk about fighting Zab. As soon as Zab lost, that's when Floyd want to fight him. That's what Zab said. Zab said that too. And like, uh, all that says or something like that. I remember Zab, 20, HBO 24-7 or something. I remember Zab saying that, like, Floyd, you didn't want to fight me when I was undefeated, but when I lost, that's when you wanted to fight me. You know, same way, same way with Tank. Same way Tank ducking uh, Devin Haney. But I don't know if it was that same type of stilo. I don't think Zab was calling out Floyd either, though. They, they weren't calling each other out. But as soon as Zab Judah lost, that's when Floyd called him out. Yeah, so it's it's a little different than the Tank and Devin situation. But if Tank starts trying to call Devin Haney out, yeah, that's some sucker shit. But uh, Floyd smelled blood. If 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 Zab would have stayed undefeated, I don't think Floyd would have called him out. You know, and challenge them like that. I don't know, but Floyd, I don't know now, because pretty boy Floyd was hell. I don't know about that, but, but anyway, Floyd, Bill Haney is your biggest is your biggest fan, bro. Just look at it like that. He he called like he called your name out. You know, he uh he talk about you. You know, he say this and that. He ain't really say nothing too, too, too disrespectful though. He said, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I never saw him saying nothing too disrespectful in the media about Floyd for, uh, for Floyd to be so angry. You know, he he was just taking his little shots at you, you know, here and there. But that's it for me, man. Peace.